Welcome everyone to Survival Chaos. In this game will probably be quite hard <laughs> because I'm playing against Saigon and yes, two other guys that I do not know myself. I think one of them was called Walt Arbeiter. So that definitely is a German player. There he is. He might be Swiss or Austrian too, of course. Who knows? And TDM too. Hm. Right, cool. So we are playing with the humans this time. Against fellow blood elves and undead. Uh, the mark place is quite cool. The spell damage could be nice against Blood Elves in the late game. <coughs> we did play with such a bonus in the last game. Let's see. That's TB sound, right? Huh, <laughs> scary. Yeah, the Aqua Blast might be useful against the Undead in the late game. Up. So it's probably a good idea to Get to put some pressure on the water biter. We might try and control the middle lane as well. We are quite strong in the race compared to the others. So we can generate a lot of resources from here. So let's try that. Probably also a good idea to go for a cheap unit upgrade to Help me, you missed on the side lanes. All gold is required. All gold is required. All gold is required. So let's see. Yeah, we are doing fine everywhere. Blood Elves is also upgrading their units. That's a bit annoying. I'm not certain what the game plan from Walter by there is. I upgrade the Acolytes. I did not play that game myself. But I guess if it does look like this and you can control your hero, then that's also quite cool. I must say there's um, yeah, magic behind this that you cannot control your heroes as well. But it can be sometimes a little bit annoying when you summon a hero and he's just positioning himself badly or he is not being redirected correctly. Have some more control on that can certainly be a nice thing. Yeah, we are getting a lot of gold here now. Although the Blood Elves did upgrade the mid lane, that's bad news. And he is also having level 3 basic attack. Let's go for some armor. Is we are destroying some summons. Saigon upgrade against the Platels. And 
die aan de Zals level toe die middel lane. Okay, this might be a good time to upgrade one of these side lanes myself. Yeah, we will lose our control here soon. Because we are fighting all three enemies. And the undead and the blood also are focusing on the unit power right now. Yeah, sadly there are not a lot of good neutral buildings next to my base. The war mill is probably the best one and he already upgraded one side lane so he probably will upgrade against me soon. That's quite balanced. He, he upgrade the sorceresses. Yeah. yeah, the extra damage is quite useful. We've got this amount of gold, and yeah, just look at that. We are not even playing with an early bonus. There we did it. We definitely had a good start. It's gonna be hard to keep it up. Research complete. Let's invest some gold against the undead. Oh, I don't think we are getting enough gold here. Nope. Upgrade complete. And the holy light will be quite useful. The sad thing though is that it's quite expensive. It's gonna be very useful to have this upgrade. The extra healing, the extra damage against enemy front lines. They probably upgrade against me now. So you might even take control of this neutral building. Mm, that sucks a little bit, but there's not much we can do about it. Oh no, he did it. Oh, that's fortunate. Yeah, we might stay in control here. Who knows? It's gonna be a close fight. Yeah, right, let's go for the healing. Belts are also left to the middle lane. Go for the armor. Then we probably are going to upgrade the castle. So we've got control of four neutral buildings at the start, so that's 300 extra gold. Very nice. We are winning on every lane.
you can spy quite some max units here to stay alive. So yeah, so far we are doing an excellent job. I should try to keep my folks intact and not lose it by the last match. So yeah, let's stay focused. Seems like he is going for the counter attack here. The undead might also have to counter attack me, but we will have a left to castle. I'm surprised no one summoned the hero yet, but that's probably because everyone is focused on upgrading their units. Uh, because he did not upgrade his Warlock yet, we are still in this. Would be nice if we can get rid of those Warlocks. Nah, it's not going to happen. We are doing a little bit better here. Sharp shoot school, X damage, burns aura. Uh, let's go for the unit damage. <laughs> the Falk is attacking the undead because his arm was over here. Go for the masonry there. We will need a lot of gold. Yeah, summoning a hero can be a good idea. Because we are all stuck at the middle lane now. It's a big investment, but it will pay off. Psygondrius. That's not good. Oh no, it's not Psygondrius, because it's Gore. Yeah, we can deal with it. Just have to keep upgrading our units though. We can take some damage. The green probably doesn't like the Velox that much. <laughs> Let's just take the damage. It's fine, we are going for the counter stack anyway. Should be careful here though. Time to use another arrow for the. Blizzard will be extremely useful. Even the Aqua Blast will be useful. Yes, all those summons. Uh, tonight is, is losing this badly. I did not expect that. Gore is a great hero, of course, but so is Antonides normally. But yeah, Gore definitely destroyed Antonides here. So that's a lot of gold for the Felox.
Alright, let's go for the empowerment combined with the blizzards. Oh no, black breaks. That's the air uh, unit replacement. So the first will be controlled in the lane, so be it. going for the human masonry then and then I will upgrade my back slot 3 because we will be extremely powerful with another blizzard. Yes I got God will definitely take over the golden minute here to also destroy God's out. So yeah, once again, I'm starting this game with losing a hero quickly. Yeah, let's push him. to upgrade against the Scourge that's mainly because I want him to have another Acolyte so that he will summon a lot more units against me so that I will have a bigger income which I can invest in fighting against the Felor That. So yeah, the Felloc is definitely leading right now. He is in total control. He is sending some infernals everywhere. Yep, the free awesome. He's being attacked from the middle lane big time. He's taking a lot of hits. Uh, let's just hope his barracks will survive. Do not take that much damage anymore. Don't worry, I will upgrade my mill barracks. Or might be attacking in there. The extra blizzards will be very useful. Uh, 
Let's see. Type it up right here. Glory up to the scourge. Lost artists being summoned. That's uh, for the middle lane. Yeah, he also has left three barracks. Let's go. The Kiri two apprentices are a lot strong, my friend. Maybe she'll be a little bit crazy and try to uh, go for Yuta at the middle lane. Let's just wait until Artis will clear some breaks. It's a big investment. It might cost us though. Let's go. In the Lich King's name. Yeah. Then Volcom another Aqua Blast. Volcom Even the Fortune Auric will be used soon, so will the extra unit, the Royal Gods. Then we will stake Troy. Because of the visits. Go for the Royal Guards. So that we can kill artists. All the mages are in a terrible position here. Is that Grump going for the middle lane? Hmm. No, he isn't. Ooh. That's better. Probably need to send out a hero soon. Scout us. Yeah, I was afraid of him to put him in lane. The Grom's probably going against the Blood Elves. I think we are going to kill us here. So yeah, once again, the fellow is getting the kill there. Yeah, I think I should upgrade my castle to left 3 and then go for the white magic. And then possibly the empowerment. There's some big investments, but they will pay off. And you're just taking a lot of damage here. Keldus will probably win this fight. Oh, Grom is here. Let's nice see you. Upgrade. Yeah, that's a lot of damage already. Oh, 
Yes. And he has the full barracks. Good to know. We will have to be careful about the fellow counter attack. You to dress double eight. Not too good. At least he did gain some levels. He will be a little bit strong against David's arm. Should he try to summon him against me? Let's repair quickly. And we should be able to defend this quite easily. Because he is attacking with a melee hero. Hey, do not hit my barracks. That's nasty. Let's go for the empowerment. Yeah, we will be very strong now. Go for another level of Aqua Blast. The more damage we can deal against the undead, the better. So some blizzards will hit this back line. Six 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 five. And this might be a good time to research the ultimate weapon. It's a big investment this early in the game. Uh, we will be protected against enemies and we will see what's going on the vitals might not win this against Antonidas it's gonna be a close call a few crits will save him though Maybe. It's a very crazy move, but if we can kill him, then that's very awesome. We have slain Jubaitos here. Sky ships. Woo. That's rough. Uh, sadly enough for him, he was not able to send the skyships against the Felox. He probably should have focused on the Felox a little bit more. Which is so Dalian will do this for us. Yep, he did. Great. We need them on a high level as well against Tabizan. So the undead might be in trouble here, but he will keep his grave at life now. Resurgence. 
insert an allied hero. <laughs> Can't summon Tabis on sooner or later. So I'm glad my units are performing a lot better than the undead units. for this and I reckon that should be enough. Some material reinforcements. Maybe we should go for the repass. I'm not certain though. Nah, uh, he has left again. That sucks. Poison Aura. Maybe... Another research of Aqua Plus. 50 percent for 80 damage. Yeah, this is gonna be extremely tough for the undead. Rum again. Crossbow upgrades, I see. Let's protect our mages and footmen. They'll never know what to The Advent. Cool. <laughs> yeah, he will definitely push me. The light is Still, good. let's summon you to here. Unit armor there. They shall burn. Oh, the Nidels are going for the melee now. Jeez. Yeah, they sound well enough up nicely for him. Let's put up some more pressure against the Felox. We are going to be stuck between two powerful enemies now. We see he's quite low when it comes to mana. So 
So we should put up some more pressure against the Talos. It might be a good choice to try and snipe his building down, but... Hmm. Uh, Dane will die here. He's not going to take Gatos with him. Even cuts out. Oh man, creepy. Okay, let's save up our gold. You can't tank this, but I was afraid of Xerox. I'm quite satisfied that it's only Crown coming out there. Is it? Could be. They're spawning just a little bit too early there. Take some well focus down, gosh. This is the uses. in my barracks. Quite nasty. Seems like Galtas has fallen. Yeah, that will be in trouble there. Doing that. Filthy creature. What am I still missing? Yeah, the arrows. Alright. I did not mean to summon him there. I wanted him to the middle lake. Oh well. Still cool.
running cry, ballistics, same arrows. And let's go for some extra mana regeneration. Just a small little army. Just some boy scouts. <laughs> Yeah, he cannot activate his ghosts. He can redirect my army. But he has lost his barracks. Oh, Xerox is coming for me. Outstanding. Dana will die for sure, he will get a lot of experience from it. And that's why I wanted to date him there. And we will destroy this tower. Tape is on and Kalsat will count stack me. Maybe not Kalsat if Gash is going to aim for him. Let's just save up our gold for now. Let's keep on repairing. Oh no, we cannot summon you today yet. That's a bit problematic. Will Gosh die quickly enough? I'm afraid not. No, he certainly will not. They are spawning too early. Maybe the next wave will be there on time though. It's gonna be rough against Xerox. I should not forget to repair. Should be sufficient. Zahn is not going to be a big trouble for me. Upgrade. Right, that's a big army there. Wow. We just, have to, uh, we just have to make sure that they will not team up with the Altmer weapon against me. Let's just hope they did not notice the repairs I have used so far. Yeah, he 
might be in some trouble here. Will be level 20 soon, and then he will get his second heart item, which gives him 20 extra regeneration a second. So that's gonna be a big boost to him. Keep upgrading. Yeah, we are not getting rid of his barracks. We did deal a lot of damage. Yeah, let's save up our gold. Research complete. Let's repair our tower. Got enough mana anyway. Oh, that's a nice amount of gold. Yeah, we are not getting enough gold for Gosh on time. Cannot defend the space with Davis on. <laughs> he definitely wants a king here. He just has to survive until the king dies. <laughs> So, good route, just a little bit. And there, yeah, maybe. Mm. Yes, the second part. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Xerox is still alive, so we might do enough damage to his base. Xerox is gonna defend him. 
Yeah, yeah as you guess. Goodbye, barracks. Yeah, let's repair that one then. And the shield. And more. Potion aura, maybe. Yeah, we destroyed the most important barracks for the Felox, so we are in great shape now. The Anat will remain low on mana. Yeah, with Davis Arn going to his face. Yeah, the Anat can only try and stay alive. <laughs> Poor Undead. Oh, Holding on to life. That's crazy. Xerox is going for the mill lane. He did not aggro either. Oh, <laughs> oh poor thing. Yeah, the king is back, baby. Time to get some uh, reinforcements for Gush. Four cards out. King will attack him <laughs> together with Savannah. That will be quite scary for him. Okay, the Kiri Toya has done an amazing job once again.
de Battle Sass Fallen. We are helping you on that here. <laughs> So yeah, this basically is game. More gold is yeah, the offensive from Davis Arm was quite interesting. Other than that, we have not been in that much trouble. Yeah, once in the upper barracks. And we were able to deal with it. Yeah, Dave Zahn is not going to make it up there. Xerox will fall with this explosion. So we'll go. That's cool. Research complete. So the undead is still alive. <laughs> Xerox against Dave Zahn. Oh, that's interesting. There goes the Wild Arbeiter. Yeah, this has been a good game. Quite exciting. Well played by Sega. It's been fun. It's been fun. So yeah, that's it. And I will hopefully see you guys for the next game. Bye bye.